Xin Yin Kuai La or Happy New Year in Chinese. <laughs> Year of the Rat, Mickey and Minnie are the hostess and host of the festival this year. Woohoo! So today is my official Chinese New Year slash Lunar New Year video. I had so much fun doing this last year. If you hadn't seen that content yet, I will put it on the screen. Um, I had two different Lunar New Year videos, but I had a lot of fun with the Lunar New Year celebration. As I'm filming, it is February 5th. February 9th is the end of Lunar New Year or Chinese New Year, which is crazy because it started in end of January and clearly I'm just getting on the bandwagon now. I had a very busy end of January. Some of you might have heard, but I went to Walt Disney World, got a little busy with that. And then when I came back from that trip, I was sick. So this is actually my first video I'm filming where I'm not sick and I'm like, yeah, I'm over it. But I still had to decorate for the holiday behind me. You can see a lot of the Chinese New Year decorations. I went and bought a bunch of celebration like materials last year. I went to my local Chinatown and I went nuts. This year, all I did is I went to my Daiso, got a couple of the paper greetings and posted them on the board. I also have some greetings that I got from the Lunar New Year Festival in Disneyland, which is exclusive to California, pretty cool. So um, on the wall, I have the year of the pig, the pig symbol from last year, as well as um, my name and my son's name. That's a new thing that I got done this year. That was a lot of fun. And I also have um, another saying that just basically means uh, auspicious uh, and lucky. Um, so basically just wishing luck upon me and anyone that sees that sign in the future. So I love the message and sentiment behind Lunar New Year. I'm not actually Asian, but I just happen to really like the Asian cultures. I feel kind of funny celebrating it this year because there's a lot going on in the world. Hopefully everyone is doing okay with the virus that's going around and different political things that are going on. There's a lot been going on, I feel like, in Asian culture. Um, in the past year and change and I just wish good wishes to all those people. Um, at any rate, I just wanted to have fun with the holiday because this is the Spring Festival slash Chinese New Year. i um, just wishing in the new year for those cultures and since I live in an environment where we are surrounded by them, I thought why, what better way than to celebrate it in video form. So Happy New Year to anyone that is celebrating Lunar New Year. I wish a very Happy New Year to you guys. Um, so. Without further ado, today's purpose of today's video is going to be to show my Lunar New Year pins that I have put together for 2020. I did put together a fun little Lunar New Year pin board. Um, I probably won't have a Valentine's Day pin board because I feel like that's coming up also very soon. I won't have time to put that together. But I did want to celebrate this holiday before it was too late. If you like this type of content, please give me a like. Consider subscribing. I'm actually going to be showing a lot more of my pin collections this year. I have behind me a huge board that if you've been following my channel for a while, you might know that when I first started pin collecting, I got this big board to encapsulate all of my pins. It has now just become a single pin collection board. That's right, just one of my collections fits on that board behind me. And I'm going to do a video very soon showing you that in a hint, hint, it's the Little Mermaid. I know that a lot of you have been wondering what kind of Little Mermaid pins I've had in my collection for a while. And I'm going to show you very soon. So I'm going to actually do a monthly series. I meant to do it in January, showing a different pin collection so you guys can see the different pins that I do collect. Um, like I said, I got sick at the end of January, so I did not have a chance to do that. But I will show you today is my start of this collection series, and it will be my Lunar New Year Festival pin. So without further ado, let's get into that. So this is a quick overview of my Lunar New Year board for 2020. I decided not to make it too extensive this year, um, so there's a lot of pins on here that you might recognize from last year. There's only a couple of new ones, but I'll go through it quickly just to show you what I have. Um, starting with the very top, one of the newest pins I have this year, Happy New Year, is the Happy New Year, regular New Year pin that came out for 2020. You can see it has the year all in stars at the very top. It's a Disneyland Resort pin that I received. Um, this was the pin that came out for New Year and it has these stars that move on top. It's a fun festive design. I actually have an extra one of that if someone is interested in this pin. Didn't realize I bought two of them. But I thought this being a Lunar New Year pin board that having the New Year pin at the very top would be a good idea. Moving away from that, let's go to the corner. So at the very top, I have one of these pins that came out, I believe in Osaka, Japan. I forget what that says at this point, but I have two of them. One is of, I think Mickey flipping a pancake or whatnot. It was given to me for free um, last year with a pit sale, so I thought that would be great to put on my Lunar New Year board. 
This is actually a 2019 Tokyo Disney Resort pin that I got for Lunar New Year last year for the Year of the Pig. That's why it has Pumbaa very festively there on the top. I decided not to go too crazy with pins this year, so um, other than the two new pins that came out from the Disney parks in the US, those are the only new Lunar New Year pins that I purchased. So this is again last year's design, but it's still a fun festive pin. And given that this is the year of the mouse, it does have Mickey and Minnie, I thought that'd be good to include. This is actually a pin, um, it's like a Valentine's Day-esque Mickey Mouse pin from a small shop called Benny Mouse Shop. I have a couple of them on this pin board. I have that color as well as this light pink. And then this Mickey Mouse Cherry Blossom pin is a spring-like pin that came from Benny Mouse Shop as well. So I decided that'd be a good addition to this pin board. And this is actually the newest pin that I just got like literally a day ago. And this is a Lunar New Year pin. And it's also from Benny Mouse Shop. This is like the first ever pin that I noticed from Benny Mouse Shop and fell in love. It was sold out. This is actually a B grade pin, so it's not as shiny as the A grade, but she was all sold out again this year. So I was very happy that she even had the B grade available, so I got that. And it's the welcome addition to my Lunar New Year pin board. This is a Pluto pin that came from Shanghai from one of the mystery boxes last year in Shanghai Disney. Um, it's funny that Shanghai Disney's not even open right now. It's crazy because of all the coronavirus. Um, so I hope everyone is doing okay over there. But um, I do have this pin from last year as well as this one. This is also a Shanghai Disney pin at the very top. And this was a Lunar New Year pin that came out last year. I love that it has Mickey and Minnie on the door. It's actually very appropriate for this year's Year of the Rat. And if I open up the door, you can see the door opens up and reveals um, more of the gangs. You've got Goofy, Pluto, and Donald Duck. This was a fun design that came out for 2019's Lunar New Year Festival. You do see 2019 there um, for Year of the Pig. And like I said, I did not order any special pins from overseas this year. So I do have my 2019 pins on here as well as some 2020 pins. Speaking of which, this is Happy Moo Year. I guess 2009 was the year of the cow, and so you do have Clarabelle on top. This is a New Year pin, Lunar New Year pin, just not this year's design. But again, has Mickey and Minnie, so on this pin board it goes. Um, I have a classic Mickey Mouse silhouette of his face. Um, I have a classic Mickey Mouse from Typo pin right there. This pin right here is actually the um, Lunar New Year Festival pin from... 2019 that came out for annual pass holders. It does say Happy New Year if you get very very close um, It has the design of the castle. So this is last year's AP pin You can also see there's a pig right there in the tassel. It's a very fun design nonetheless um, So it's on this pin board um, I have a couple of pins that just look like it goes goes with Lunar New Year. So um, these are the Chinese Zodiac open mystery pins that you can get, um, open edition, and that is the one of Maximus from Rapunzel. I have a couple on here. I have my Pluto one, I have Piglet, and then I have Tigger. Those are all from those mystery boxes, so I have those four on this board. This sticker right in the centerpiece is actually a Hong Kong sticker that they give for free. Um, it is of Dale. It was sent to me in addition to one of the pins I purchased last year from Lunar New Year, so I decided that would be a great addition for my Lunar New Year pin board this year. Um, it being the Year of the Mouse, I do have Mickey's glove right there. I don't have my Mulan pins on here because I wanted to keep it um, Mulan free. I have a whole Mulan pin collection to show you guys separately, but I do have the Mulan dress from both um, the Box Lunch mystery sets. I thought that we get to include just her dress on this pin board, um, but there are no other Mulan pins on this board because I was keeping it pretty um, Lunar New Year specific. Speaking of Lunar New Year, this is another pin from last year's Year of the Pig celebration. This is actually a Hong Kong Disneyland pin that I purchased as well. So you can see I actually did go really nuts last year getting a lot of the special pins. This one was from Japan, this one is from Shanghai Disney, and this one was from Hong Kong. So I represented the international parks last year. I just like again, like I said, I'm just trying not to spend as much money on pins and things in general, so I did not order anything overseas this year. This is the other limited edition pin from last year's celebration. You do see there's Mickey and Minnie. Minnie is holding a la Chinese lantern. Min Mickey is actually holding a, what looks like a pig, piggy bank. Um, and in the center, it does say Happy New Year. So that's another nice design that came out last year's celebration. Um, over here, I have one new pin as well. This is actually a Valentine's Day-esque pin. It says Perfect Match, and it's Mickey Minnie holding a cell phone. It was released at Box Lunch. 
and I thought that'd be appropriate, given it's the year of the mouse, to add that to my pin board. This right here is a Donald Duck pin from Tokyo. Um, just thought it was like fun and festive since it is Donald wearing, you know, uh, just sort of like a kimono type of outfit that would be good to include on this pin board. I've got Steamboat Willie represented there in classic um, form. This is actually a Shanghai Disney grand opening pin uh, with Tigger and I just decided to fit it on here as well. I have another um, Shanghai Disney opening day pin but it's not on this board because I ran out of room. These are on here because they are Hong Kong pins. They were released in Hong Kong Disneyland and there's Percy and then there's also Ham. And since they are uh, Asian pins, so to speak, released in a, a foreign park, I decided to include that, include that on this board as well. Um, this is a WDI pin of Ka, and I just put it on here because I actually really like the colors of this particular pin. I think it goes well with the Lunar New Year theming, so that's why that pin has made it onto this board as well. And you can see I do have two of the Spring Cherry Blossom pins from Benny Mouse Shop on here, as well as the one Lunar New Year one. Then you've got Mickey with shades, and this is actually from a box lunch pin as well. And I just think it's cool because it's the red design that goes very well with Lunar New Year. And then the very last thing on this pin board are the two newest pins, um, in addition to this one from this year and the perfect match. This is the other two new additions. And these are this year's Happy New Year pins for Lunar New Year Festival. And I'm glad I got this at the beginning of the festival because these were all sold out when I went to the festival this past week but you can see this one is they're both limited release so whereas last year was a limited edition pin um that was put out this is actually limited release so they did not know how many they were going to go out with until they sold out supplies but this one is the ap version and you can see there is mickey mouse there's mickey very prominently in the center it does say happy new year pass holder and has a picture of mickey and a dragon that's actually really nice it's a nice classic Chinese lantern design, um, and it is for the year of 2020. And you can see it does say 2020 on the tassel itself. And then the other new pin that came out this year, this was actually the um, open pin that anyone could have gotten. You didn't have to be a pass holder to get this one. And this one on the pin does say Happy New Year 2020 as well. And you've got the Chinese dragon, Mickey, and Minnie. So I actually really like the pins this year. I think they're beautifully, beautifully colored. And that was this year's pass holder pin. This was last year's design. I also was a really big fan of that one as well as that one. But you can see I'm kind of a fan of the dragon of this year's design even more. So I think that these pins just keep getting better and better. And of course, my favorite is the Shanghai Disney pin that I will always treasure and cherish. So this is my Lunar New Year pin board for 2020. Um, I think ending with the Happy New Year pin on puts it on the right note, but I had a lot of fun putting this together. I had a lot of fun putting that together just for the holiday. Um, I did film that at night, so hopefully the light, lighting was okay. Um, but I really did enjoy putting together a pin board to showcase the love of Lunar New Year Festival. Um, I do have a money envelope in my hands. This is actually was given to us from the UCB Bank. I'm not really sure how we came across this, but it's just funny because every year we do get a lot of these money envelopes, which is part of the culture um, in Chinese New Year that you give these envelopes to people, and there's usually some form of money inside. Last year we did get a dollar bill for my, my daughter's school, but this year, it's a fake, it's a fake dollar. I love it. 
I love that we have a fake dollar in our little money envelope. So this was given to us from um, GCB Bank this year, and I just think that's such a fun tradition. So I do have a couple of money envelopes that I have from Daiso as well, their little money envelopes say Happy New Year. So I'm just going to go just do like a quick close-up of the decorations behind me, but again, I just wanted to get into the festivities. Hopefully you enjoy this and you're enjoying Lunar New Year for the last couple days we have left. And Happy New Year once again, Gong Shi Fa Tai, which means... Happiness and prosperity. I hope that I said that right. I just went onto a website and got a couple of phrases for this video, so I'm not gonna lie, I did not speak Chinese. Uh, but Happy New Year. Wishing wealth and prosperity to all of you guys as well, and I will talk to you soon in the next video. Bye!